Okay, look at what I did over here. The Sarah J. Mass section of my bookshelf over there. It's so cute. So I wanted to do a surprise. I do ceramics. So I'm in here in the studio right now. I gotta catch up on some work. I'm trying to make it's cool. <laughs> I made such a good matcha this morning. I kind of want you closer. Come here. Oh, this is good. Hello, how is everybody doing? Good morning. Hello, happy Sunday. This week I'm going to do a vlog in my life, kind of center around books, a little about school as well. Really excited. I hope everyone's doing good. I just finished the third in the Akatar series. I just finished Wings and Ruin, which means this week I'll be reading A Court of Frost and Starlight, so that will be included in this vlog. I won't have any spoilers. Just a relaxing weekly vlog. I have spring break next week. I'm a senior in college. I'm really looking forward to that spring break. I really need it, but I have so many tests this week. So much homework to do. But I wanted to start this vlog off with a little haul. I went to Barnes & Noble this past weekend. And I need to show you what I got. I started out with Ravel. This is a new fantasy series. I believe it's YA. Oh my god, the cover is stunning. What really made me want this book was them saying that it was kind of like a Moulin Rouge vibe. But there's this girl named Lux. I love that name. Her family has a fantastical show that she's in, but she figures out with this other guy that there are sparks and magic, enchantments, everything. I'm assuming this is the guy, right? And But she has to keep this a secret. She has to keep her powers and magical miss a secret so i'm excited for this one i have two tiktokers two book talkers that i really like and i'll list their ads on the screen here but they're doing a fable book club and this was the book so had to pick it up too looks really good then i also got this by adeline grace all the stars and tea the cover is beautiful it's like raised and it's got the matte although i'm i'm never a fan of this half cover princess pirate stowaway mermaid the crew makes the king and i've been really looking for a mermaid pirate fantasy reading so there's kind of questionable reviews about it but i wanted to give it my own shot so i'll tell you if i like this last but certainly not least i got one dark window this looks so good and apparently it's her debut book it says one up here at the top so which makes me think that it's a series but i'll read the back to you elizabeth spindle needs more than luck to stay safe in the eerie mislocked kingdom of blunder she needs a monster she claims in the nightmare an ancient merciful spirit trapped in her head he protects her he keeps her secrets but nothing comes for free especially magic when elizabeth meets a mysterious highwayman on the forest road her life takes a drastic turn Thrust in the world of shadow and deception, she joins a dangerous quest to cure blunder of the dark magic infecting it. Except the highwayman just so happens to be the king's own nephew, captain of the most dangerous man in blunder, and guilty of high treason. A maiden must unleash the monsters within to save her kingdom in this dark, lush, gothic fantasy debut. This sounds so... I'm ready to jump into this, and I've heard so many good things about this book. I'll tell you how this is as well. My roommate wants to go to Barnes and Noble later today. Really excited. I'm on chapter two of this. A little resand POV. Feels like a nice relaxation read after Wings and Ruin. Wings and Ruin like destroyed me. I needed like a sec yesterday to like get myself together. Look at what I did over here. It's a Sarah J. Mass section of my bookshelf over there. It's so cute. Surprise, I do ceramics. So I'm in here in the studio right now. I gotta catch up on some work. It's called an assemblage piece and we have to do these. We have to take these different molds and make them into something. So I'm trying to make the other mother from Coraline. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I don't know what it is either. Okay, we're just gonna be done with this project, okay? Look 
I couldn't find my matcha bowl, but this will have to do. my bio test today. I think it went really well. I studied a lot, so I hope I did good. But I went to a new Asian market that opened and I got some bao buns. I wanted to open it up. Uh, it's so good. Oh, it's so hot. So I convinced two of my friends to read Akatar. And both of, okay, so one friend finished Mist and Fury last night, and the other friend at like 4 a.m. texted me, I finished Akatar. So I was like sending her fan art today, being like, oh my god, what did you think? And she's like, I need to read the next one ASAP. And I'm like, I know. I freaking know. And she's like, I don't know about this resand guy. Like, I might be a resand girly. And I was like, Hello, happy, what's the day? Happy Tuesday, I just finished my bio lab test. Definitely went better than last time, which is great. I'm kind of feeling a little sluggish today. I got enough sleep, but I'm just like super tired. And I have another night class tonight, so I need to like recoup before that because it's three hours long, it's seven to 10. So I think I'm just gonna go to Starbucks, do a little bit of reading, do a little bit of editing, do a little bit of homework. Just, I need to get out of the house, enjoy the fresh air and I need some coffee, so yeah. That's, that's that. Also, I started reading. I got like 9% done with The Hobbit. It's so cute. I mean, it's just adorable. I'm a mood reader, so now I want to read this today. How are you? It's Thursday, I believe. I had the weirdest day. I slept till like 5 p.m. So I started my day super, super late, you could say. I had my book club hang out with my friends last night and they stayed over till like 3 a.m. So it was really fun. I had a lot of fun. So I finished A Quarter of Wings and Ruin then and then I started Silver Flames. I love it so far. But tonight I'm gonna read a couple chapters of Ravel from my book club since it officially started a couple days ago. Hello again. So a little book reading update. I'm officially on spring break. Woohoo. I listened to the audiobook of this all the way down to my parents' house and I got to 218. I'm in the middle of chapter 19 and I'm loving this book so far. Like absolutely loving it. The two characters, I don't wanna I don't wanna say any spoilers, but the two characters they're rivaling. They're like some of my favorite, I think maybe. I'm just gonna read the rest of the night. So it's no longer the week, but I'm gonna continue this vlog because it's just so much fun. I'm gonna take you along with me into spring break. I'm going to Madison to see my boyfriend and we're gonna do a lot of fun bookage stuff. I don't know, do you wanna hear my questions? It's only $14, so that looks kind of tempting. Ooh, you're tempted? Unironically though, I've heard that Brandon Sanderson is actually good. I have heard that too. We're going to Barnes & Noble. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking one of the uh, Brandon Sanderson ones, maybe. Ooh, I forgot. Or what, the, what's the one that I looked up on uh, Goodreads that one time? I can't remember.
this was attached to my hip when I was like 15. Guys, we just found him like this. Okay guys, so today was a success. What did you get, Nick? Here's at Half Price Books. I got a Philip K. Dick book called Martian Time Slip. I've read almost all of his books. This is one of the ones I haven't read, and it was only like $4, so why not? Mm -hmm. And then I also got Isaac Asimov, The Gods Themselves. And I've never read anything by Asimov, but I figured it uh, fits in with my collection. It might be good. The one that I might be most excited for Missed one. We got it together so we could read it together. And I'm excited to read it. It's Nick. We went to Barnes and Noble and Half Price Book. So like I said, I also got Miss Born. It's so cute and small. I'm excited to read my first Brandon Sanderson book. We'll see how it goes. I think I'm gonna start this today. And I got King's Cage because one, it was really cheap, and also it was the it's the new publication version. I got this summer I turned pretty at Target with this exclusive cover because I want to read it in summer and it's like absolutely stunning. From Barnes and Noble, I got six crimson canes. That six crimson cane. I can't say this one. Six crimson cranes. Oh my god, that was jerky. I actually love this cover, but I also like the hard covers, so maybe I'll have to get both. But when we saw in the store, I found the Shadow and Bone in the OG cover. So much this was such a good find then i also found the red queen special edition with the sprayed edges which is why i wanted to get king's cage after i saw this one because i was like yeah and then i got heartless because i saw a tiktok of someone saying they cried during this book and i'm really excited for it that was my haul it was a really great haul i think i'm gonna end this vlog here thank you so much for spending the week with me it was so much fun and i hope you enjoyed I'll do a lot more reading vlogs in the future and keep you updated on what I think of these books. And I'll keep you updated on what I think of Silver Flame. I got to page 304 last week. I'm liking it. It's not my absolute favorite right now. I'm hoping it's going to pick up again soon. I kind of hit a wall. And the steps, the steps make me cringe. Like, they, they make me laugh. The whole metaphor with the steps. But yeah, you'll get it if you read it. Um, talk to you later. Definitely hit that subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. What? I need subscribers. I have like eight subscribers. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.